Hello friends, this video on Amai's part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about some of the chemical reactions that are shown by this diazonium salt. The first is the reaction involving displacement of nitrogen. So if I have my salt here, there are reactions where my N2 is displaced. So examples for such kind of reactions are replacement by halide or cyanide ions, replacement of N2 by iodide ion, replacement of N2 by fluoride ion, replacement of N2 by hydrogen, replacement by hydroxyl groups, replacement by NO2. We'll also have some reactions where the diazo group that is N2 group is retained and that is called coupling reaction. So we'll understand these kind of reactions. One set of reaction where N2 group is displaced, one set of reaction where N2 group is retained. Actually N2 is a nitrogen, it escapes out easily. So you'll see most of the reactions the N2 group is displaced. Correct? So if you see displacement of N2, so if you see diazonium which I have here N2 plus let's suppose Cl minus this is a very good living group it's a very good living group it can easily be substituted by my Cl minus Br minus iodine Cl minus OH minus because N2 escapes from the mixture as a gas. This N2 will escape from the mixture as gas. So let's talk about this replacement by halide or cyanide. So halide is my Cl minus, Br minus, I minus. And cyanide is my Cn minus. Correct. So the typical reaction is I have my ArN2 plus X minus. This is my typical general formula of my diazonium salt, aromatic diazonium salt. So if I react this guy with CuCl and some HCl, what I get is ARCl and N2X. So this Cl minus is replacing this whole N2X. N2 goes off and X minus is replaced with Cl. If I react this with CuBr and HBr, I'll get aromatic this one. This is bromobenzene and nitrogen gas goes off. Similarly, if I want a cyanide one, I'll react this with CuCn and KCn. What I'll get is N2 goes off and X minus is replaced with Cn minus, you get here Cn and N2 gas goes up. Correct. So, here if you see what I am using is Cu with 1, charge is 1 here. Cu1 ions and halogen acid. And this reaction is called San Mayer reaction. This reaction is called Sandmeyer reaction. Other option is what you can do is you can use Cu and HCl. This will also give you ARCl and two gas and CuX actually. Or just copper with let's suppose HBr you will get Ar Br with nitrogen gas and CuX. So here we are using halogen acids in the presence of copper powder. So here I, have, I was using copper with one oxidation number. Here I am using just copper powder. This reaction is called Gutterman reaction. So two reaction, Sandway reaction is better than Gutterman reaction. 
but there are two different reactions to form to displace nitrogen by halide or cyanide. Let's see replacement by iodide ion. Tell me one thing if I have a benzene ring and if I want to introduce some iodine here something like this how easy it is it is not that easy correct I can't introduce iodine just like that in the benzene directly so here what we'll do we'll use diazonium salt for example if I have N2Cl this benzene diazonium chloride now if I react with Ki what I'll get is this plus obviously I'll get some KCl and nitrogen gas the, the point I'm trying to prove here is with diazonium salt it's very really easy to introduce iodine to benzene Similarly, we'll see that other compounds also is very easy to introduce atoms in benzene because of diazonium salt. Here what we saw that iodine we could easily introduce. Same thing if I want to introduce in this benzene fluorine, it's very difficult. Do it directly. So, here also, what we can do is we can take this diazonium salt and react with HBF4, that is fluoroboric acid, what will happen is this will form ARN2 plus. BF4 minus again this is also my diazonium salt and from this I can get ERF and BF3 also comes out and nitrogen goes off the only thing you have to do is you have to heat this so I can easily get a fluorine on a benzene so these diazonium salts helps to get Chlorine, iodine, this kind of atoms on benzene. The next is the replacement by H. So if you see, if you use a mild reducing agent like hypophosphorus acid, or ethanol this will reduce diazonium salts to arenes and they will oxidize to phosphoric acid and ethanol actually for example I'll show you this is my diazonium salt if I use hypophosphorus acid this is at 3PO2 and with some water what will happen I'll get a normal benzene right with the H you can put just to avoid any confusion because this is replaced by H nitrogen comes up and H3PO4 they themselves oxidize to phosphoric acid that is H3PO3 and some HCl comes up similarly you can use ethanol do the same example I'm doing using ethanol to oxidize this so to reduce this so what will happen is this will become my normal benzene nitrogen again comes up and this ethanol will become ethanol and obviously HCl also will come up right so this is my Displacement of nitrogen by hydrogen. We see there is a nitrogen N2Cl, it got displaced with hydrogen. You have to use just a mild reducing agent.
still this is very unstable like a mild and reducing agent will do here the next is displacement of nitrogen by hydroxyl group so if you increase the temperature of this diazonium salt i have this diazonium salt if you increase this temperature and you have to react with water actually this mix in water increase the temperature to maybe 283 kelvin not at high almost room temperature this increased to, to a room temperature what will happen is this salt get hydrolyzed to phenol N2 gas comes up and HNCl react to form HCl this is what you get phenol pretty easy reaction since this part is unstable you just have to warm this with water you get phenol so if you see the whole end to see is replaced with OH the next we'll see is we'll replace this N2Cl or N2X with NO2 nitro group correct so in this we use diazonium fluoroborate only so this when you heat with aqueous NaNO2 in presence of copper you heat this you get something like this nitrobenzene I'll, I'll show you example so let, let's start with n2cl first correct first i'll make diazonium hydro uh, diazonium fluoroborate because that is what is required so i'll react this with hbf4 we have seen this reaction this is fluoroboric acid so what you will get here is n2bf4 minus uh, why, once i have diazonium fluoroborate I can react with NaNO2 copper and some amount of heat what you get is NO2 nitrogen gas goes off and you get NaBF4 correct so this is a typical reaction mechanism when you want to displace this with nit NO2. Please note you have to use fluoroborate only. So first you have to convert to fluoroborate. As I told there is a reaction where we retain diazo group and this reaction is called coupling reaction. I will show you why it's called coupling reaction. So here nitrogen is retained in the final product right so here what happened is this diazonium salt we have diazonium salt we get that reacts with other electron rich electron rich aromatic compound and they yield the product they have the formula of this pattern and they are colored and they are also used for dye because they are colored so my diazonium salt react with electron rich aromatic compound it forms compound with the general formula of ar n double bond n ar dash this is a compound you can see nitrogen is retained here right n2 is retained and they are colored so they are also used for dye for example this is my benzene dye azonium chloride correct you react with phenol so this H and this Cl will react and form HCl and the final product which you get out of this is this 
and this is orange color line this is called para hydroxy azobenzene let's take some more example again i will take benzene di azonium chloride you react with this time aniline Here also you take this hydrogen here, this hydrogen and this chlorine will react and form this product. So this is yellow color dye. Correct? This is called para amino benzene. So my phenol gives orange color dye and my aniline gives yellow color dye with benzene diazonium salt. Let's talk about the importance of this diazonium salt. See, as we have seen also, they are used as good intermediates for introduction of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, cyanide, OH or NO2 will be an aromatic ring. Sometimes it is difficult to introduce these uh, atoms directly to aromatic ring. So these diazonium salt are very good intermediates for introduction of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, cyanide, OH, NO2 groups in this aromatic ring. Correct? Because sometimes to introduce these groups is really difficult. But these Diazonium salts helps us to achieve that target. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.